5 Minute Church. Welcome to 5 MCE. We are standing here with the one and only Lee Steinberg. Thank you so much for being here. It's, it's my great, pleasure. It's great to be here. You are actually the, the original Jerry Maguire, and I'm sure you hear this all the time. Uh, well, it was an interesting experience because the writer-director shadowed me for about a year and a half. Everywhere I went, he went, and I told him stories, lots and lots of stories. Well, they did a great job, but you've done, you've had, obviously, a five-minute church likes to feature people who have different inspirational stories, and, and obviously you do, and you've been through, you know, the struggles of, you know, um, addiction and losing everything. Tell me what it is like, you've had everything, right? What is it like to come back now? What, what is the main thing that is important to you in your life now? I was brought up by a father who really stressed two values. One was to treasure relationships, especially family, and the second was to try to make a meaningful difference in the world and help people who couldn't help themselves. So material things never were that critical to me. But what was critical that I lost when I struggled with alcohol was any sense of a higher power, lost faith, lost the ability to be a good father. And so the comeback, if anything, is the ability to be in touch with a higher power, to understand what is critical in life, to be a good father, and the rest of it's sort of window dressing. But also the ability to work with young men, stimulate the best in them, and together take on issues in the world uh, and help people who are struggling. Absolutely, and I think you've impacted a lot of young men's lives that you have mentored through the years. Um, is it different now, the, the way that you represent? Because obviously you've represented eight Hall of Famers. I mean, you have a list of, uh, you are obviously the sports agent. But is it different now how you represent your um, players? You know, I think there's more balance in my life. Um, before, it was a matter of more and more and more and more and more and I think um, I'm a little more relaxed now in terms of, uh, of understanding limitations and, and uh, balance. I always understood that um, fame and those things were ephemeral and they wouldn't last, but um, uh, I think I have a renewed appreciation for every day and the fact that um, um, I'm back active in the world and it's a blessing. It is, and we heard you speak last night, and it's such an inspiration of just you know who you are as as a man, but on the inside, the core of who you are. Is there something that you would tell our viewers that if they're struggling in that moment of when you hit rock bottom, what is that next step to get moving? What is the next step? It's to find some hope somewhere, and to understand that in the darkness there still is light, and you may feel like promiscuous pushing the ball up the hill that every time it moves a little bit. But, but if you're struggling with alcoholism or addiction, there are 12-step programs. You do not have to do it alone. There are people who will help you. And so don't give up hope. Um, there, you can get through to the other side. And, uh, and a happier life is ahead.